Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're gonna do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a two inch brush and some black and blue. And we'll come right up here to the top and just drop in a little bit of the blue sky. I think we're gonna have some clouds in our painting today. So we're not gonna paint the entire sky in with this blue, just here and there. Maybe a little bit right here. With the one inch brush and some brown, a little bit of red and black, we can drop in just a little bit of shadow. Maybe, we're, maybe we'll make some clouds here. So this will be the shadow under the clouds. Just drop in a little bit. You don't want to cover up all the white just here and there, and that should be enough. Next, we'll pull a one inch brush through some white paint, and we'll come right up here and begin dropping in some highlight on these clouds. Now I'm just gonna use tiny, tiny circles today just to drop in a nice, loose shape of a cloud here. I wanna always keep that brush moving, moving very quickly so that I have a a very, very nice soft cloud shape. Don't want anything that's too symmetrical because that wouldn't look right. There. Maybe let's have some of the cloud kind of hang over like this and we'll tie it right back into the rest. Yeah, that'll look, that'll look a little more interesting. And a little something over here. When you're done blocking in your clouds, then we can come back with a clean brush and blend them. I'm just gonna use the top corner of the brush and spin it around in tiny, tiny circles until I have the clouds nice and soft. That's all I'm really trying to do is just soften the clouds into the base color. I don't wanna destroy all these nice variations between light and dark that we have built in there just by go, going quickly. I wanna leave those. Just a quick little blend. All right. And we can lift them and fluff them right up. And then lightly across. Now with some blue and black on the filbert brush, we can come, let's come right here and drop in a very, very distant mountain and we'll just fill it right in. Now we'll load up the filbert brush with some more black and blue. This time I have a little bit more paint on the brush. And we're gonna drop in another mountain right in here. This mountain is gonna be quite a bit larger and it's also gonna be a little bit more, more dark and more detailed. Fill it in very, very thick and dark. So it looks a little bit closer than the rest. With the filbert brush, we can add in a few details. I'm just kind of dotting with that brush to give myself some tree indications. Really, I'm not painting anything in. Just touching with the brush and letting these little smudges look like trees. Just by having them clump together and kind of maybe sloping down here in a valley. With some brown on the knife, we can highlight this little mountain over here. I'm just gonna use the small edge of the knife and rub vertically right along the face of this mountain to drop in all these nice little highlights. Be sure to save some of the dark because that'll look like little cracks in deep areas inside the mountain. Come back with a little bit of extra light and kind of sparkle up the edge just here and there. There, you can add a lot of detail to your mountain this way. Now that you're done with that background mountain, you can add some detail to the one right in front. Just rub it on with the knife the same way. 
I'm really not looking for a lot of breaking texture today. These mountains are just too far away for that. Instead, I'm kind of just rubbing the knife, letting a little bit of the dark canvas show through. Now back to the filbert brush, and we can keep on adding some detail down here, really just by making these little trees. Have them grow right up the mountain. You can have them grow around the mountain. You can even brush in some grass so you can leave little areas open. And we will be coming back and add some highlight onto a few of these little trees, especially these closer ones here. With a little bit of red and yellow on a filbert brush, we can drop on some highlights to these trees. Now these highlights will really help make the close ones look more detailed. Then you leave it off of the ones that are very far away, and it helps to push them back into the painting. This will give you even more depth. Just tap them right on. Careful not to get them too big. These trees are still pretty far away. And don't cover up all the dark. You need that dark in there to create shadows under the trees and also to separate the different layers of trees. You can vary your colors as you go along. Add a little more yellow, a little more red, whatever just so that it's a little bit different. Now with the liner brush and a little bit of blue and white, this is the exciting part here. We get to add in a little stream in the distance. Very small, but as it comes forward, it does get a little bit bigger. You can make up any, any shape and size you want. Now with the one inch brush, I'll load up some black, blue, a little bit of brown and red, and some green. Really a lot of just good dark color. And we'll just come right over here and tap. I'm gonna tap in some foreground. Now I want this to be very, very dark because that'll help to push everything else even further away. All right. And I think while we have this brush, let's just tap in a few little bushes or trees right back here. With the fan brush, we can drop in a little evergreen tree right here. I'm just gonna use the corner of the brush and tap. Tap all the way down and watch how this pushes everything back. This tree really helps to create some depth because it stands up so high into the painting. It just really sets everything back. And I love that in paintings, when you can do little things like this that really increase the depth. With some red and yellow on a one inch brush, we can tap in just a little bit of highlight to these bushes. Just gonna touch it on very lightly and give my little bush some shape. There, a little bit more of the yellow, just to change it up. Add a couple of these little sparkly highlights. All right, now maybe here, we'll just pick this one out and do it red too. I like these little fall time colors in this painting. Makes it seem nice and warm. With the two inch brush and a little bit of yellow and green, we can tap on some grass. We'll just add a little bit of highlight down here. Just tap it on very, very lightly and let some of that background show through. There. Maybe we want the, the land sort of sloping down today. I think that would look nice. There. And then darker and darker as it gets down here toward the corner. Very dark down there. 
Now, after looking at this painting, I think we need to add one more thing. All right, I think we need a big tree right here. Just throw it right in. Don't worry about it. And it has a little arm right there. All right. With a little bit of brown and white, we can add a highlight. Just touch it in very, very lightly. With the one inch brush and some black and red, a little bit of yellow, we can tap on some leaves to this tree. I'm just gonna tap them on using the top corner of the brush. And I'm gonna be very careful to leave some of the sky showing through. I don't wanna cover it all up. And I also wanna be very careful what I cover up when I get down here because I like that background and I don't want to lose it. So we'll be careful when we tap in these leaves. Maybe just a little bit over here, but not much. With the knife and a little bit of black and brown, the last thing I want to do is add in just a little rock down here. This will help finish off the painting, make it look very detailed. And it's just a nice little touch. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVDs. And thanks for watching.